On a day-to-day -day and a week-to-week -week basis, there are gonna be some incredible days that you're gonna have. Some days are just gonna go amazingly well, but by contrast, you're also gonna have days which go badly, and by the time you get to the end of the day, you just wanna crawl into bed. Now, I wanted to share with you in the lesson today as to actually how I go about getting through those days. They don't happen that often, but you can be pretty much guaranteed that they will happen at some point. The biggest disadvantage with freelancing, ultimately, when it comes to this, is the loneliness factor. Now, if you, most of the time you might be working from home or working from coffee shops, you simply don't have anyone that you can potentially speak to when it comes to situations where you really just want to rant or feel really frustrated about whatever it is that might have gone on during that day. Because digital marketing is what it is, often a lot of people feel that they can't talk to their friends or family about what it is that's actually frustrating them. A lot of frustration and stress can come from the nuances or the technicalities of something that you might be doing. In my experience, I found that actually explaining whatever that is to your friends or family and just having a rant, just having, letting it all out for five, 10 minutes is still really beneficial. All you need to do is say to that person, look, I know you're not going to understand this, but blah, 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 and everything can come out. Now, psychologically, that is a really good, sort of quite healthy way to express frustration and stress it's not going to actually affect the friend or family member that you're talking to, but you can just release that inner frustration that builds up. Alongside that, if I am having a bad day, the biggest advantage with freelancing is obviously the flexibility. You're not locked into having to get through that day. If you need to, put that work in till tomorrow, or at least go away and take a break from it. If things are feeling stressful and I want to put that energy into something more productive, I will go and hit a heavy session at the gym. Effectively, it's you going out to find the most stress-relieving activity that you can find, and having lots of different options. Now, whether you want to go for a drink with your mates, or do a quick meditation, or you know, just go and punch a cushion, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever works for you, and you will find that different things work for different stressors in your life. If you're taking out the stress and frustration of it all and just feel like you've had a bad day because you know something hasn't gone right, you know, bear in mind that you can share whatever those frustrations and problems are with the wider freelancing community because you know what? Everyone else has been there before. So whether it's things like we've covered previously that a client hasn't paid on time or, you know, you've lost a client, you haven't won a pitch, you know, simply venting that out into the universe can actually be quite a therapeutic thing to do. But more often than not, you will get responses back from other people you know relating to what it is you have been through it's really sort of reassuring to know that there are other people out there who have gone through almost identical experiences that you have and ultimately they can share their experience and advice with you to almost how they deal with things all in all this is just to say and kind of almost set expectations that when you enter a freelancing world you are gonna have these great days and you are gonna have these bad days. It's just to reassure you that if you are gonna have a bad day, you know that is perfectly natural. But it's also the case that if you are in that position, then make the most of the advantages that freelance life brings and take some time out away from the work or away from whatever it is that is creating that stress and frustration. And if you need to come back to whatever that frustration is, you can do it with a renewed level of focus and hopefully some reduced stress levels as well.